Hello everyone and welcome to the Digimon unboxing video. This time we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Super Complete Selection Animation DRX, which are the Super Complete Selection Animation versions of the Digivice used in Digimon Tamers. So three were released, so we have Takados, we have Rookies, and we have Lees. Now, just to recap and something that I covered in a previous video shortly after these were announced, is that these are it's like the CSA, so like the Complete Selection Animation Digivices, which I have an example of here. I did do a bit of an overview video with all the Digivice CSAs that we've had so far when these were announced, just to go over what they are. But in short, they are not the Digivice Quest-based toys like all of the other pedometer toys, and they are not a virtual pet like the Digivice IC. So the CSAs just basically make noise, play music, light up, and have different sayings from the characters and stuff like that. So this is a uh, one of the CSAs Digivices that was released. However, these are Super CSAs which have more functionality. So we'll be looking at that in this video. So let's take a look. We'll start with uh, with Takados. So I also do have the other DRC Digivices that I'm trying to work out which end I open first. There we are. I uh, pre-opened the box, but I haven't looked at them yet. I just cut the tape so I could open them easily. So yeah, I do have other DRCs that I want to compare it with just to see how accurate it is to, in terms of how it appears in the show and how we've had other DRCs so far. So the outside of the box is really nice. We've got a nice kind of picture of Takato and Gilmon, and it's really kind of nice. It's in red. I'm assuming the others are green and blue, depending on what it is. We've got Dukemon on the side, on the top there. We've got Takato there, and we've got Gilmon there. So all in all, pretty neat, and I've got more tape to open. I only opened the tape on the outer box because I wanted to uh, look at the box fresh with Yarl. So we first open it up and we find lots of cardboard. So we will pull that out and then nothing else in the box. Nope. So we'll put that to the side for now. So we've got some instructions which tell us that I have got a screwdriver, but it's not actually with me right now. So I'm going to have to go get that. But uh, before we do, let's take a look at the DRC itself. We also have these cards which work with the uh, the card slash me mechanic which uses NFC technology. I'm fairly certain from what I read. Uh, we'll just take off all the, uh, the sticky bits. And here we are. So here's the DRC as uh, it is in the Super CSA. So pretty shiny, pretty cool. It doesn't have the slot at the top that the original Japanese DRC did. Obviously it doesn't have the prongs. It has the button and it's actually more of like a square shape here instead of more of like a rounded shape that we have on the original Digivice. And we have the buttons looking fairly similar except these buttons are a bit bigger on the Super CSA. And it's also a bit fatter and the card slash looks a little bit longer there. And then the back is completely flat, which is weird. Uh, maybe because it's using different batteries, these use the, sm the uh, small coin batteries rather than the, uh, I'm assuming this is dub AAA, I'm assuming. The other one, the other CSAs were. And the cloth clip itself is a little bit shorter. On the on the original Digivice, DRC Digivice rather. But yeah, it looks very different uh, to how it looks on the um, on the the Digivice. It's like the DRC itself. Like it looks, uh, it's a different shade of red, and it's bigger, I guess, because it doesn't just have to submit to that screen. In terms of other ones, we also have the version fifteenth. DRC, which I I have taken it out before, but I'm just going to leave it in because I don't really. It's fairly similar to the 
original one, except it doesn't have the Wanda Swan port at the top. But, uh, yeah, ma this is main. The version 15th ma is mainly the same as the DRC original one, except for, as I said, the Wanda Swan port. I also have the US DRC, which actually is like a closer shade of red to the Super CSA instead of, as opposed to the uh, DRC original. The buttons, of course, are different on this and it's actually in use because I'm using it at the moment. Uh, of course, there's no prongs on the Super CSA and the US version has that on and off button being or bright orange without any symbol on it and it again has the uh, the clip but the, the plastic part looks uh, different on the, the US one and then of course we have the English release for the European version also the C version so that's Southeast Asia which also was distributed to Australia and it's very different. It's got this clip, the reset button there instead of an on button, and uh, the same buttons as the USD power. But uh, yeah, mainly fairly similar. Again, we're going to like a lighter red than the original Digivice's DRX's uh, darker red. So it's interesting how we've got three different re or four different reds, slightly different shades, uh, depending on if it's a super CSA or not and uh, then we have the the cards now these cards have the same original design as the Japanese cards so we've got the backing so it's the same one that was used in the anime but they're uh, they're plastic in feel they feel quite nice but they yeah they're, they're plastic rather than card which makes sense because it swipes easier and you don't have to risk wrecking up the card. So these are all the cards you get with the Takato D-Arc. All three of them, I'm fairly certain, have slightly different cards, ones that the characters used, uh, and also you can use them for all the D-Arcs. Like, I'm fairly certain that some of them don't, like, they don't all have the blue cards, so technically you need all three to get everything, which is kind of a little bit scummy of Bandai. In terms of comparing it to an original card here, we've just got a Gomamon one, and they are the the new ones are slightly bigger than the originals, and obviously this is made out of card paper rather than um the plastic. And then I also have the blue card that came with the DR version fifteenth, and again. These were the same size as the original cards, but they were also plastic to make it easier to swipe, but it's like a, a thin plastic, whereas this is a little bit more thicker. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, the blue card probably resembles more of the anime rather than this one, which went a little bit... Uh, I wanted a little bit more detail than just the very standard blue, but the logo itself kind of melds away in that, in that blue center there. The white outline kind of makes it pop more. More or less fairly similar in design. And uh, yeah, these. Uh, this is also the red card that came with the version 15th. And I already showed the blue card. I just have a bunch of them apparently from the two version 15th DRCs that were released. They only released Rookies and uh, Takatos for the version 15th. Which is kind of a shame, poor Lee. I'm sure that people do like Lee. But uh, not Bandai, apparently. Well, enough to get us this, but that's Bandai making money, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm not even going to pause the video. I'm just going to go and get up and get a screwdriver. So yeah, I had the foresight to like grab batteries, but not screwdriver. So I don't know why I'm like this. So you open up the battery door, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, cool, it is the batteries that I do have next to me. So I should have actually paid attention because I have no idea how to get the... Let's see... Dum -dum 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 -dum. You take... Oh, there's a cover. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you take off the cover and then it reveals the battery door. 
Now that's pretty cool. It does make it look a little bit sleeker rather than having just batteries loose. And I have to loosen that a little bit more. Dum -de dum dum dum. And let me reach to the side and hopefully not drop any of these batteries on the floor for my little dogs to eat because I'm a klutz and I've never had a dog eat a battery but I don't want to start now. Alright, so we'll put in our double A's. What I'm noticing is that this one doesn't seem to have a switch. Like, uh, oh, it does have a switch. It has an on-off button. That would make sense. Because all the other digivices have a switch. Even the one that does have an on-off button, which is the D3 CSA. That one has the on button here, but it also has a switch at the back, I'm fairly certain. So straight away, it's uh, you can see the improvement from just a regular CSA. While the CSA didn't have a screen, it just kind of lit up different colours. This one straight away, we see that it's got the egg animation from the start of Digimon Tamers. So the sounds are kind of a little bit muffled. Lots of sounds, 126 sounds just for Kulamon. That's so... That's a very... Yeah, the sound is very kind of like muffled and grainy. I'm guessing this is the speaker. But uh... So that's kind of a little bit weird uh, compared with the, the the original CSAs. Honestly, it's not too much of a difference, but I think that the CSAs, like th this one, has slightly better speakers. It's still a little bit crispy but it actually doesn't sound as bad as it does. It sounds really muffled through the Super CSA in comparison. This is something that a lot of people pointed out of to me before mine arrived but it did it does use the uh, the, the English dub terms which is interesting. So we've got we've got champion instead of adult We've got ultimate instead of perfect, and we've got mega instead of ultimate. Uh, that that's that is interesting. I don't know why they would have done that. That's cool. So that's pretty cool. I wonder how this one differs from the one we just had. Yeah, you can see that there's a difference between the Super CSAs just on the screen alone and that's pretty cool and that's the main drawer of the Super CSAs. So the D scanners that just came up for pre-order are Super CSAs so they will have this kind of screen and functionality that this one has. So that that's pretty cool. Digimon explained. So this kind of shows the Digimon Analyzer screen 
that shows up in the in the show. So it's meant to be more show accurate, but I can't get past like it just looks a little bit weird. Like compared to the other D Arc Digivices that I was showing off earlier, it just looks a little bit weird. And honestly, I don't think it looks more like the show than those. I feel like it's just a, it feels like a weird shape. Okay, so this is the Digimon search, which is also in the anime, so that's pretty cool. When they want to find something, they're like, it's like a compass, like, oh, there's a Digimon around. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it does much more than just that, if it just spins around. I think it just does that. I'm not sure if there's a real Digimon. But uh, that that is pretty cool. And then we've got settings. Pretty straightforward there. It is interesting that they've got English text rather than uh, Japanese text, especially that we have the... Oh, good, cool. we've got the songs now too. I won't play too much because I don't want to get... Oh, how do I turn that off? Nope, I'm... Stop, I'm going to get demonetized. So we've got three primary colours, one vision, the Dukemon version, one vision, standard version, Evo, which is the evolution theme and also a fighting game competition, and Slash, so which is the Card Slash song. Now let's try to see what uh, the actual Card Slashes do. That's pretty cool. So the interesting thing is I would have had it actually be a functionality where in the menu you would go to card slash, it would play the card slash animation and then you would slash a card because then it would match a little bit more with the the show, but that's just how I feel. And then we can, oh, we've also got uh, Metal Gurumon. Yeah, see, I would have that. And then after the card slash announcement, it would then like prompt you to slash the card. And we've got the, yeah, this one's Chorchinka plug-in S. Which just brings us to, uh, to Growlmon, I believe. Can you cancel out of these? Yes, you can. And then we've got the boost chip. And then we've got the wings, and I really like Gilmon with the wings, actually. The card slashing itself feels very smooth. I know that slashing cards through the US version using the uh, US blue card that came with it sometimes feels like you have to pull a little bit, but for this it's fairly smooth, probably because they've given you a lot more space and it's not actually activating any swiping, I'm fairly certain. It's just activating the NFC inside. So I'm sure that if you just placed it at a certain point, it would probably just activate itself. That's what I would think anyway, but maybe it's just just inside. Oh no, if you look just inside, there's also, there is also a button, so you can't you can't just put activate any old NFC with it. I wonder if you had one of those uh, NFC cards that people put amiibos on and everything. I wonder if you put like I don't know an amiibo in there. I wonder how if it would just air out or something. But uh, yeah, so we got a bunch of cards, and uh, we we could probably look at the other ones now. It's besides uh, just our beautiful Takato one, because there are the other ones, and uh, I'm just going to use the same batteries. But uh, yeah, impression so far is that that's it's pretty cool. 
I can see why it's worth, uh, or rather being sold at a much higher amount than the than the regular CSA, the just the normal Digivice CSAs that had been released previously. It's got a lot more functionality with the cards and the display. It's got a lot more uh, so like songs and sayings. The other Digivices were just uh, like Braveheart and Butterfly, and, and that was it. These this one has a lot more, so that makes sense why it costs a lot more. It's still very expensive. It still kind of annoys me that the cards that come with it seem to be unique from what I've heard on the internet. So I'm fairly certain that one of them has the blue card, but as you just saw from the... Uh, this one's rookies. I'm pretty, yeah, this one's rookies. Um, the, uh, as you can see from the cards that I just went through for Takados, there's no red card, but I'm fairly certain that one of them does actually have the red card. And it's not random or anything. They just have different cards and there's like special functionality for if you have all three which is kind of annoying because they're not cheap uh as someone who bought all three of them i think it is cool that it ha it gives you something if you have all three uh but i don't i still think they're too expensive to just not be having a card so that is that is a little bit annoying and uh here we've got rookies and the instructions which uh, would be exactly the same so I'm not going to bother opening those to save time because otherwise if I do that I will be here all day. So let's take a look at her cards first of all and take that away. So she does have a blue card so that's nice and we've got the got some some cards are the same like the blue card and the Choroshinka plug-in S but we've got other cards that were ones that the character herself got to use in the in the show so we'll just take her out of the box we'll get rid of that just to make some space and I'll uh, just remove the plastic bits on the sides I used to love removing plastic bits off electronics and then I got into tech and uh, kind of ruins the fun of setting up new computers uh, and taking off plastic off things. It's just something that is just so like, it, it's been completely like, the fun has been sucked from that, uh, from that activity. Like the first few computers I set up for work, I was like, yay, new computer smell. And now I'm just like, oh gosh. Uh, I just <laughs> all computers, especially HPs with all their bloatware, takes so long, and it just ruins the fun of uh, the joy of setting up a computer. Dum 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 dum. And here we go. And we've got a different color egg because Rookie's egg is different color. That's pretty cool. It kind of hits different because the Takato one didn't, uh, was the only one that actually in the anime we saw the egg hatch on. Renamon just kind of showed up to Rookie and Terrymon was already Henry's Digimon on the, uh, on the video game that he played. So we've got Kulamon, Rookie and Renamon. What's just Digimon? So then we've got, yeah, it, it's more or less the same as what we had with Takados, except where we've got Renamon instead. The display's really clear too. I hope it's coming up uh, nice enough on the actual recording, but it is, it is really pretty, and I'm really hoping that the songs aren't going to get me demonetized or anything. So yeah, the functionality between all three of them is more or less the same. We've got the Digimon search, 
We've got the Digimon Explained, which I'm sure is the exact same. It's the exact same. It even starts at Gilmon. So that's fairly the same. Uh, the Evolution, which has us get the evolutions still with the terminology from the English dub, which is... it. I wonder why they went with that. Um, maybe they're planning a more uh, universal release, and then we've got the the cards, which... I'm not going to really bother slashing them because they should that that would be mainly the same as the ones for the Takato one. And uh, lastly, we'll uh, I'll keep that up here because I need to take the batteries out. And we'll look at uh, Lee's or Henry as his name is in the dub. And we get greeted by Terriamon. And oh, good, my storage is running low. So hopefully we have time to show off Ter uh, Terriamon and Henry's. It's nice that we actually got a uh, one for for Lee because while he got an original Digivice for uh, for the, the version I think it was 1.5 oh I can't remember uh, but he didn't get a version 15th so we've got our cards No red card. I was I was wrong. I heard that uh, there was a red card that only one of them came with. People on the internet telling me things that aren't true. What? But at least they all have blue cards. So that is cool. They can all evolve. It is weird they have no red card because the uh, the version 15th cards came with a red card and I believe the Cardo's card tin also came with a red card. But I can't remember. It's been so long since I... Looked at the Takata card tin. I do have it, it's very cool. And uh, we'll take the uh, batteries out of... And what I'm noticing is that the off button doesn't actually function as an off button. Oh, no, you have to hold it. That would make sense. Yes, I know the storage is low. Please let me finish showing off the DRs. I don't want to have to stitch two videos together because I've done that enough. Should I clear the space before I start unboxing the things and doing videos? No, 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 I can do that after. Thanks, past me. Ah, it's flashing more regularly about the storage low now. It's a race against time, how exciting for all of us. Dum de dum dum dum. And then we've got the Terriamon egg hatching. But uh, yeah, so all in all, would I recommend these? Uh, if you are a collector and you love tamers or you're a cosplayer, they are cool for cosplay. I still think they look a little bit weird, then absolutely, especially if you don't feel like they cost too much. Uh, the thing is that, all, that everything is in English, so it's interesting it says Digimon there rather than Terrymon. No, no, it's that on the Renamon one as well. It says it's it's and Terrymon there, but when we go to Digimon, it's just Digimon. Uh, so that's interesting. And Terrymon's a good boy. But uh, yeah, would I recommend these? Uh, yeah, I think they're cool, but I am a collector. If you are not interested in something that is not a game, if you're not interested in a display or collector piece, because that's what all the CSAs are. They are display, cosplay, and collector pieces. They are expensive, yes. I believe there's also ones for Kamen Rider, which are quite pricey. But all in all, they are for collectors or display pieces or, you know, cosplay. Not necessarily for fun or games like the Digivice uh, pedometer toys are or the virtual pets. They're not. They're not like that. They are CSAs. So if you buy this, don't be surprised that it's not a game. It's just a cool uh, fan piece, basically. I like them, but that's just me. I think they are quite pricey, but that's fine for what they are, in my opinion. 
In terms of what I got them from, because everyone always asks me, and even if I do say, people will ask me anyway, I got these from the wonderful, wonderful people over at Zen and TCG. They've sponsored quite a few videos. This one's not sponsored, but that's where I got them from. You can also get them from Japan You Want, or if you use a proxy service like Baiyi, who have also sponsored my videos, uh, you can get them there. But I got them from Zen and TCG. But I believe down in Japan You Want also had them uh, for sale. They are premium Bandai, and hence the price, I guess. But overall, pretty cool. Big fan of them. I like the I like display pieces. I'm a collector, so I like these. But overall, uh, yeah, get them if you are a collector or if you like the other CSA. It's just don't get them expecting a game. But anyway, so that's it for this video before the storage runs out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't ask me where I bought them because I just told you Zen and TCG. Uh, like this video if you think Terrymon's a good boy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!